Hey there, if you caught the last video, we talked about network transparency and why it's such a big deal. But today we are going to get more specific and talk about remote desktop connections. It turns out Wayland's lack of network transparency made this a little bit more complicated. But don't worry, there are some solid solutions. So now how do we connect remotely? We've learned that without network transparency, Wayland doesn't natively support remote connections because it doesn't have built-in protocols to handle transmitting graphical data over a network. But that doesn't mean it's impossible to connect. We just need to turn to third-party tools to make remote desktop connections work. And as you will see, the compositor that's running on your remote system is playing a key role in choosing the right tool for the job. But you might question me now, why the compositor? What does it have to do with this? So let me briefly remind you what the compositor is. So the compositor is like a middleman between your graphical application and the screen. It decides where the windows go, how they look, it handles transparency and animations, and even multiple screens. Without a compositor, nothing will show up on your screen. So Wayland has multiple compositors. And you might ask a question, why so many? Well, Wayland is just a protocol, it provides the rules. But developers build their own compositor on top of this. Different compositors are optimized for different user needs. So they're built slightly differently and offer varying features. So if you go on the web and search for all the available Wayland compositors, you'll discover this list. And as you look at this, you can see that there is like a lot of them. Uh, the table is quite long and some of the most common ones are for example, KWIN, which is the default for KDE desktop environments. And then there is uh, Mother, which is the default for the GNOME desktop environments. And Sway and Western are some of the other very popular options, though they are not really tied to any of the specific desktop environments out there. Just based on this alone, you can see that Linux distributions, depending on how they're built, which desktop environment they use, and what kind of window manager they use, they can have quite different features. If we take this into account, it would make sense that one of the key factors that will decide which third-party tool to use to set up your remote desktop connection will really depend on which compositor is used on the remote machine. And that's beside the fact that we we'll still have to think about whether we're connecting from a Linux to Linux or whether we are trying to establish a connection from non-Linux operating system to Linux operating system. And then there is a third factor that is whether you want to have a full remote desktop access where you can easily switch between the applications or you are good with only single app level access. So there's a lot to consider. And to make this a little bit easier to digest, I made sort of like a decision tree, which I will walk you through right now and show you my findings. So if at any stage during my presentation, you find that I said something that's not quite correct, or maybe it's not encompassing all of the possible options, let me know in the comments. I surely will add it to that decision tree. But this is what my findings are at this moment, because prior to that, I didn't need to think about this. I only used terminal level access and this was sufficient for me. But as soon as I needed to get a graphical application running over the network, I started looking into all of these possible options. And one of the first things that I came across, I asked myself, there's so many tools, which one do I choose? So naturally this evolved into this video. So I hope it will be helpful. So let's get into it. So here, is that document that I put together. Now let's walk through this together. So the first part of that document is based on the type of operating system you're connecting from. And we're always connecting to a Linux system, right? Because we're interested into, in the connections to Wayland based operating systems. So if you are connecting from one Linux machine to another, the first question would be whether you want full desktop session or not. So if the, if the answer is yes, then we have a few options. So here I separated it by the uh, compositor. I mentioned a few of the most common used Wayland compositors. 
So Mother or Kwen, which are used either uh, in the GNOME or KDE, um, you then would use something as VNC or RDP. Um, those are the third party tools or applications that will help you to set up the remote connection um, to the Wayland machine. Okay, then there is uh, Sway, uses Way VNC as the tool to set up remote desktop connections. And it looks like Way VNC was designed specifically for that compositor. Now, with Hyperland, it's a bit trickier. There isn't an official solution confirmed yet, but you can experiment with Way VNC. I searched. Reddit and subreddits, I stumbled upon some of the solutions where people were able to use WaveNC to set up a connection to a remote machine that has um, Hyperland Compositor. So here I just want to let you know that this might be possible, but it's not guaranteed that this should work and it might be kind of tricky to set up. All of the three or four solutions below here um, should give you a full desktop environment where you can switch easily between apps and between windows, which is very convenient, right? It's as if you're sitting right in front of that computer. If you don't need or don't want a full desktop session and a single level app access is sufficient, you can uh, use something as Waypipe and it will provide you with that single app level graphical user interface access. So for that, you will need to install Waypipe on both machines, on your local machine and the remote machine, and then you can use Waypipe SSH to establish the connection and call the application that you're interested in. I tried this myself, it works. So at first I didn't know that this is something that will only allow you for a single app access. So I found it out the hard way and then I went back and was trying to figure out what's wrong. And it's only then that I realize that, yeah, it only gives you a single um, app window access. Yeah, but it works. And better yet, it works regardless of the compositor. So Wavepipe SSH is compositor independent, but the only limitation it has that it only works on the Linux to Linux connections. You can't use it on other operating systems to connect it to a Wayland based machine. And now for the Hyperland, um, again, I also mention it on that side because you still can surely connect to Hyperland machine with Waypipe. Speaking of other operating systems connecting to um, Wayland machines. And so again, it depends whether you want a full desktop access or not. So if the answer is yes, then the choices remain largely the same. So you would use um, VNC, RDP or WaveNC to access the remote machine. Um, and that should work. And here, once again, VNC and RDP seem to be your best bet for these kind of connections. They will provide you with a full desktop access and allow you to easily switch between windows, um, which is great and very convenient and also not very difficult to set up. And so just as before, Hyperland with way VNC connection as a question mark, because it might work, might not work for you. Let me know if you got this to work. And now if you don't need a full desktop access, the only other choice is to use straight SSH connection, but this will only provide you with the terminal level access, no GUI access. You can't use Waypipe because Waypipe does not work on non Linux to Linux connections. I tried some of the connections myself and I can confirm that it works, but that might not be for a beginner. At least it wasn't so straightforward to me when I started to research how to set up these connections. Now, this document will be available on my website. I will publish it on my blog um, as a separate blog post and I'll try to find a way how to make it downloadable if you want to download this or you can screenshot it. I hope that it will be helpful and let me know what you think. And now to summarize all of that, what I just said. So for full desktop sessions, you can use VNC, RDP or WaveNC, depending on your compositor. For the single app level access only, you can use Waypipe and it works regardless of the composer on the uh, remote machine. But the only limitation is that it only works Linux to Linux connections. And the third option is to use SSH without any other third party tools, but that will only provide you with the terminal access and no graphical user interface available with this option. So here are all the options that we have. It's a little bit 
more work than it used to be with X11, where you would just SSH and you can do the same things. But things change and it will get only better from now on. And in the future, I will try to uh, make a tutorial or two how to set up those kind of connections. So hopefully I didn't confuse you too much today. And I'll leave you at that and see you next time, guys. Thank you.